American barbecue, I love the history, why it happened. It was all to do with preserving and keeping things, learning what to do with those secondary cuts. It was the workers' food for the state. Yes, everything has become more expansive, but it's still, it's still that working class. A Meatsmith Telakai Air is an American barbecue at its heart. We have three Meatsmiths in Singapore. We have Meatsmith Little India, using a lot of Indian spices from around the neighbourhood. And then we have opened up Muck and Sutra at Gluttons Bay, which is a Western barbecue style. The secret to getting perfectly barbecue meats is patience and time and commitment. I think when you think of American barbecue, you think of brisket. The brisket, we put it into the smoker for about 10 to 12 hours, and that just goes basically straight in with a salt and pepper rub over the top. We just let that go slowly through over that 10 hour period, and then it comes out, we wrap it, pop it back in until we know it's fully settled, we slice it off, and then those slices are still nice and juicy and soft. It's a crowd favourite. So the cheeseburger, we make a mix and then we take some of our cooked brisket and we mix that through in our patties. And then we basically put them straight onto the grill and get them nice and crispy. And then we're putting cheese on top and that's two patties stacked on one another. And then we put some burger sauce on and some of the house pickles. It comes nice and juicy and it's bloody delicious. So the philosophy of Meatsmith would be to adhere to the tradition of American barbecue. So when you come in here and you eat, you get platters of food, we try and make it large, we try and make it rich and flavoursome. You have a good time. We use Southern Pride smokers, so we brought them out from the States, which basically works smoking wood, hickory or mesquite or whatever we're smoking with. The smoke fills the chamber and then we get a little bit of an injection of heat as well just to keep it stable. The smokers here have a ferrous wheel basically inside and you can load a lot of meat in at a time. Meat goes around, cooked until it's nice, juicy, tender. Southern Pride have been around for a while, they're consistent. They're massive machines. They're not cheap, not many people can make them. We could have done it with an Asian drum from what you do for smoking here, but there's no way that we could keep the system as productive or as standard because of the amount of meat that we go through. We go through about 700 kilos worth of brisket a month. Pastrami goes back a long way in history as a preservation of meat. We make up a brine for the pastrami. We're using at the moment beef cheeks. We brine that for around 30 days and then we bring them back out. We put a nice pastrami rub over the top of them, which is a nice crusting case. It goes into the smoker, we grill them, put them onto a plate with a nice sauce and a little bit of pickled cabbage and then straight out to you. So the premium platter has everything, it's basically for four people, so you're getting the smoked short rib, the pork ribs, and then you get the entrees that come with it, some quail eggs that are done like scotch eggs, you get a bit of caviar on top, all of those little bits and pieces add to you're eating a full meal. You're going to roll out of here, you're going to walk out satisfied. We were set up by David Burnens, he's an owner here, we try and source more from Australia because Dave's from Australia, and we believe it's where the best beef comes from. With the barbecue here, when we cook our fresh meats, we're doing it on a coal grill, so burning the wood and making the coals from that. People come here because it's a good time. We always try and deliver something that's a little bit special. There's a little sparkle there. Sourcing what we can to bring an honest plate of food at a good valued price.